Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Astronaut Imperial. Guess who it is? Oh, you guessed it, it's, it's Astronaut. You guys are so smart. <laughs> All right guys, in this vlog, I'm gonna update you guys on the progress with my channel. Um, in the last video, I was explaining about YouTube's new policy. You have to have 10,000 views before you can be reviewed and approved for monetization. And um, I'm going to let you guys know where I'm at with that. And I'm also going to update you guys on my subscribers because I got more subscribers. So that's a great thing as well. And finally, I am going to discuss becoming a filmmaker. Yes, I'm really excited about it and I want to get into this. So let's hurry up and get into this vlog. I'm so sorry for that random outburst of emotion. I'm just feeling a little overwhelmed at this vlog. First things first, let me update you guys on where I'm at on the 10,000 views. I am currently at over 6,500 views, so I have less than 4,000 views to go to get to that 10,000 mark. So I'm really excited about it and um, I am going to keep going until I hit that 10,000 mark. Also, the last time I talked to you guys, I believe I had like about 120 subscribers and now I'm up to 200 subscribers, so that's another positive thing that I'm really excited about. And let me tell you, it was not easy. I had to network and work my butt off. I had to roll up my, uh, well, I don't have sleeves. I have on a t-shirt right now, but I had to roll up my sleeves and get to work. So, but the page is growing slowly but surely. I'm really excited. Things are paying off and um, having more subscribers is definitely a plus and getting those views and I am going to completely um, be super excited when that happens. And trust me, I'm going to let you know. All right, guys, to what I really, really wanted to talk about in this vlog was the idea of becoming a filmmaker. Um, now, I haven't really gone into a lot of my past in a lot of these videos and shared a lot of uh, my past venture for the longest time I've been doing music I've been a songwriter and a musician and things like that and now that I've been uh, I guess more in tune with what's going on with YouTube and the whole video marketing thing and looking at online opportunities to be an entrepreneur and view it as a small business um, my eyes have been open to kind of expand my horizons and kind of entertain more um, opportunities to kind of stretch myself and really get out there in a whole new way. For the longest time, I've been taking a lot of my energy and shoving it all in a music box. I have been taking everything, every ounce of my energy and my strength to put it into the idea of writing a song and recording the song and visualizing the music video and you know the promotion and all that stuff. And I never really took the time to realize that there were so you know there were other doors or other avenues that I could take with exploring my own sense of expression and wanting to communicate my ideas and my feelings. At the time, I knew that a lot of my creativity was derived from listening to sounds and listening to music and hearing melodies and having words um, match the melody and organizing it and being able to do you know verse, chorus, verse, chorus. But um, now that I've been using, interacting so much more with my phone, with my camera, um, and I've been look, going onto other YouTubers' pages and seeing the different formats that they have and how they record themselves, and um, I've even taken the time to even look up some filmmaking videos and to see how people are making, how people can make a video just using their phone. And now that I've had like all of this downloaded into me, it's like I've just had this huge revelation of realizing that um, just to be a storyteller, you don't necessarily just have to tell a story through music. You can tell a story through using, of course, your camera. You can tell a story through acting on camera or off camera. Um, being a storyteller doesn't isolate you to one, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Genre will work. One genre. It doesn't isolate you to just one genre. You can do a spectrum of different um, genres just to communicate your ideas and to just be as free as possible. And I think that has been a problem in the past with, you know, trying to put so many rules on myself. Even though I was, um, I knew I was a songwriter and I loved to sing, I still had a lot of rules on myself of trying to do it only a certain way. But now, now that I have access to understanding how to use a camera and um, how to put together um, either a short story um, a short film, a feature film, whatever you have it. Um, now I'm really motivated to try and apply myself to different art forms so that I can just get creative and see exactly what I can come up with just to allow my expression to come out. So guys, you can expect perhaps a new series from me on how to become a filmmaker. Not necessarily me on how to become me telling you or telling anyone how to become a filmmaker, but just a, a series that will be based on me becoming a filmmaker and how I will 
um, bring that all about with the equipment that I have, which is extremely limited. So look forward to that um, in the near future, possibly. Um, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. I think I've been talking enough. You know, I, I'm tired of hearing my voice. I just got home from work and I really kind of want to shut it down. So I've had enough of you guys and I am done. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Astronaut out.